Hi and welcome to another Decred news update. Just the other week, Decred's new feature, Bison Relay, was officially announced and released. Bison Relay is a peer-to-peer -peer social media app with no censorship, no surveillance, and no advertising that all runs on Lightning Network. The Decred currency powers the entire network and acts as a sort of gas for chatting, connecting to others, sending images, sending files. Anything you do on Bison Relay requires Decred. Once you've exchanged keys with other users, you can subscribe to their posts, where you can then enjoy a social media experience of replying to and relaying user content. You can also easily tip users in Decred with the click of a button. Plan for Bison Relay is user pages, which will allow for content and storefront capabilities that users you have key exchanged with will be able to view and interact with. It should be noted that the Bison Relay GUI is still a work in progress and many bugs are in the process of getting squished. Users who have experienced bugs should report them on GitHub. I'll leave a link in the video description for that. Bison Relay was revealed after a series of blog posts by Decred project lead Jake Yokobaya. The first being what is wrong with Decred, which detailed Decred's experience with censorship, a lack of insiders, and dealing with malicious proof of work miners. It concludes by saying the path forward is not through, but around, and that it is instructive to examine the world's current largest software platform, the web. The second blog post, Trapped in the Web, goes into detail on the technology the web is built on, how people are openly oppressed, surveilled, and censored, and how the web is centralized with weak security, and the complexity behind the web and payment integrations. It concludes that Decred is evolving to deliver real digital free speech and free association. The revolution will not be censored or surveilled. Blog post number three finally reveals the release of Bison Relay, which operates on the Lightning Network and has no user accounts, has strong built-in privacy, is censorship resistant, and allows for peer-to-peer -peer social media capabilities. To learn more and download Bison Relay, check out bisonrelay.org. And if you want to start connecting to other users, visit us at chat.decred.org, where we'll have community members invite you onto the platform and start key exchanging with other users. Now let's dive into development updates for Decred. DCRD is a full node implementation that powers Decred's peer-to-peer -peer network around the world. The devs simplified how raw transactions and their additional descriptions are stored in the mempool. Tweak the memory management to spend less CPU time doing garbage collection. With this, DCRD can perform the initial chain sync up to 10% faster at the cost of using more memory. And optimize WebSocket client disconnection handling for the RPC server. Decrediton is a full-feature desktop wallet app with integrated voting, stake shuffle mixing, lightning network, dex trading, and more. Big updates are coming for Decrediton. Version 1.7.6 was released. This upgraded the DCR DEX module to version 0.5.6, which included bug fixes for Bitcoin and Decred, and added in an icon to the DEX window. Set for the next release is the redesign of the wallet launcher, which includes the following. Added onboarding tutorials to the launcher. Added gradients to the wallet cards. Each wallet's gradient is saved in the config. Move the redesigned progress bar to the bottom. Remove the rescan wallet component. The rescan progress is now integrated into the progress bar, and the onboarding tutorials list is displayed during the progress. Introduced a new progress bar indication of the fetching block headers process added a Trezor Wallet setup option, and added an automated wallet launching module. User choice is saved to the config. And as far as the DEX goes, remove the Bitcoin wallet setup steps in favor of the built-in Bitcoin wallet provided by the DEX module. When changing wallet passphrase, users can enter their DEX app password to make the DEX aware of the new wallet passphrase, avoiding previous confusion. Added links to ticket spent and VSP fee on the transaction details page, Added a launch step to resend vote preferences to recently upgraded VSPs. Added links to documentation in the form of question mark blurbs throughout the wallet. Redesigned the Trezor pages. Improved the flow of purchasing mixed tickets by automating the steps. Voting preferences now update asynchronously. Developer BGPTR reports that the process has become three times faster for mainnet, updating in three seconds versus the previous 11 seconds. The error handling was also improved. Revamped transaction processing code to improve performance and enable automated testing. Removed all legacy stake pool related code. Added basic and advanced translations for Greek. Fixed undesired locking of the wallet account used by the auto ticket buyer. Fixed blockchain download time estimation during syncing. And finally fixes two transaction views. 
Politea is Decred's proposal system. It is used to request funding from the Decred treasury. The page title now dynamically updates according to the proposal's name, added a reusable go backlink component and fixed legacy errors, added GitHub Actions workflow to build and test the new GUI remake separately from the existing GUI app, implemented initial submitted proposals view in the user account page, VSPD is server software for running a voting service provider. A VSP votes on behalf of its users 24-7 and cannot steal funds. Added a vote validator tool. This allows VSP admins to verify that their VSPD deployment is voting correctly according to user preferences. DCRDEX is a non-custodial, privacy-respecting exchange for trustless trading powered by atomic swaps. Fix an issue with taproot transactions on Bitcoin mainnet by upgrading BTCD again. Fixed unmixed accounts not being unlocked in some mixed account configurations in order to prevent failure of swap refunds. Fixed built-in DCR wallets reported as ready too soon. Orders that the client doesn't know about are now cancelled. This fixes a number of cases where the client could lose some of his orders. Fixed a bug where orders would be retired, non-existent on the client, but still booked on the server. As far as the client goes, a market maker bot has been added. The bot has some internal and external signals to calculate an ideal buy and sell price in a break-even spread. Added support for self-governed trades when the server is down. Clients need a way to complete trades even if the server goes down or mysteriously loses the market information. Made order placement more responsive. The order form will close sooner and order submission will continue in the background. Users can now see and manage the peers that the Bitcoin SPV wallets are connected to, as well as add new peers. Progress towards Fidelity Bonds has been made, including adding messages to manage bonds, changed server's account management to a tiered system, and updated server's database to track client bonds. And last but not least, DEX developer ChapJC says F pairs are coming soon to the DEX. DCR data is an explorer for the Decred blockchain and off-chain data like Politea proposals, markets, and more. Fix various front-end bugs, importantly ones relating to treasury spends and ads. And now let's look at community content including live streams and podcasts. Project lead J.K. Compiat was involved in a number of interviews. Let's jump into Decred. Now, you guys have done some incredible stuff and I will let you get into that. But one thing that is very vague but gives just such a long avenue to sort of think about is sort of your tagline, which is Decred Money Evolved. What exactly does that mean? Well, the, the big idea behind the tagline is this, is that Decred was set up as a cryptocurrency that can evolve, where early on I started working on Bitcoin. And what I saw after a few years of working on, you know, basically an alternative to the Bitcoin D, you know, Bitcoin Core software was Bitcoin didn't want to evolve. Uh, the people who were, you know, the people who, you know, the Bitcoin core developers wanted Bitcoin to stay very much the way it was, and they wanted very much to stay, you know, as the sort of the central planning committee for, you know, for the project. And effectively, they have, uh, you know, via Blockstream and these other sort of affiliated entities that that do core development uh, for Bitcoin. So Bitcoin really sort of it was this amazing piece of technology. It drew me in, you know, I, I spent a few million dollars working with developers to, you know, to write the BTC suite software. And it just didn't, it wasn't evolving. So I feel like money evolved is really a, you know, it is, is to take this idea that started with Bitcoin and really make it, step it forward and keep it moving. Because we can keep looking backwards and keep trying to find ways to be like, oh, you know, oh, it should have been like this. The block size should be exactly this and nothing should ever change. But I feel like that sort of static reasoning, that's exactly how we got the, the fiat banking system that we have, which is people going, hey, I don't want anything to change. And, you know, oh, we're never going to give people actual custody over their own assets. And then, you know, along comes Satoshi and Satoshi goes, well, no, the, we can make crypto assets and you can always have custody of them yourself. And it's like, that that process needs to continue and i feel like decred is the continuation of that process so that we're evolving and we our money evolved we've already evolved and we will continue evolving it's a great line why not get rid of mining entirely when it comes to the the whether we should just get rid of proof of work entirely i think that that makes sense in fact i would actually quite like it if we could get rid of proof of work entirely we used to have a hybrid model. Now we go to a pure proof of stake model. And, you know, basically that whole process is a lot of, it's a lot more work and it's a much deeper set of changes. So we may end up going that route, but it's a, you know, it's a deeper set of changes to make. I mean, 
I guess our realization was really that we thought proof of work was a nominally egalitarian thing where, you know, hey, a random person can buy some miners and mine. Mm -hmm. But the reality of it is, is that it's highly, highly centralized and that it has weak incentive alignment. So, hey, we may as well just cut over to staking entirely because it's actually fairer. That is that not all of these, you know, not a huge portion of the supply is all going to one company or a handful of companies who seem to be out to wreck our project. We've started doing Twitter spaces with the community in an effort to bring more awareness to Decred. Thanks to Tivra for leading this effort. You can use Bison Relay as much as you want. I'm chatting a lot and uh, what I used is pr practically nothing. So f yeah. for text, it's almost free. I think somebody somebody asked like how, how much it would cost to transfer a Bible and it was some tiny amount, if I remember correctly. For example, the Decred Lightning Network could somehow work with the uh, you know other um, you know coins is uh, lightning network, and from that one interview with Mateus, the answer is a resounding yes. And apparently, um, it's it's something that's you know that was possible even you know as you know a, as far as three years ago when, when that interview came out. Mateus even even produced a, a demo of I think it was. Paying up, uh, paying for a um, Bitcoin Lightning Network invoice with uh, Decred. We also had a new state of the market live stream. People come and always say, "Why, why you haven't tried marketing yet?" So I, I'm really glad this blog explains that it was tried. Many things were tried already. I, re I really think we need a radically new, radically new approach. Yeah, I, I mean, I I couldn't agree more, and I think. Um, I liked Jake's point about, you know, we're going to have to go round, you know, we, we, we can't go through the same mm -hmm. channels. It was it was one of the reasons that um, I kind of came up with Decred Magazine, because we had all these publications which were kind of not getting anywhere. And it's like, well, if we have one place where everyone can come, it exactly. may take a lot of time to build up that momentum, but at least that place exists. And in many respects, um, that should probably be the blog as well. Last time, last uh, Twitter space we did, there were two community members or three talking, and it's nice to hear from uh, from the community. It gives really a sense of um, just hearing each other's voice, I think. Okay, video is even more, but already the voice uh, gives a sense of humanity. We also had several videos on the DCR decks by Phoenix Green. So we've put in our price, um, 135 we can see this line this is where it's going to place it in the order books we made sure it's one lot um, 40 DCR that's the lowest value we can have so then we can say place order enter our password so then we can just press the sell DCR button now you'll notice that a dotted line appears that's the um, EPAC or EPOC and that's basically a block of time that you have to wait for it to be put onto onto the order books and it's also the same if you want to cancel as well this just prevents high frequency trading um, it's a really really good system actually and it makes sure that if you put down an order you don't get front run you know it's a very very fair system so let's cancel that and it shows you here that it's cancelling now it's cancelled it's released my coins again so they're ready to use again and remember this locking period this is all done decentral this is all done via a contract or dcr decks it just says hey these coins can't be spent okay um but it's not held by anyone it's that's what's really really interesting about this it's just a simple contract that says hey let's keep these locked for a second whilst they're in the order book phoenix green also created a video on the initial setup of bison relay let's load that invite and over on my desktop um, I've got this invite bin here so if I say choose and then I can accept so this is from me Phoenix Green and I can accept so if I head on over to chat now so the last test then let's have a quick talk with Phoenix which is myself of course so let's just say hi Phoenix and let's send that message out we're just going to connect to the one and only server so i'm just going to press connect now this part will take probably best part of 20 to 30 minutes depending on how fast um, your system is we're just coming to the end now then so that's taken about five minutes so far just less than five minutes actually it was actually quite quick so the next thing we need to do is we need to populate our wallet 
and this is our lightning, a decred lightning wallet, a lightning network wallet. So we need to populate it with at least 0.1 DCR. What they give me here is a receive address. Thanks for watching this Decred news update. Be sure to check out decred.org to learn more about the project. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at decred.org.